Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I have a melt review video for you now. Um, and I'm gonna share empties plus other non-empty scents that I've been melting. And um, yeah, so I will say this time, most of the stuff again is still some of my older stuff. Um, I've only gotten a couple, you know, new orders um, recently. So the, the K's scented wax melts and I'm, I'm trying to let that cure. Although I will say I have one one scent shot I did melt and so I'll talk about that and then I just did uh, my L3 haul which I've melted a little bit so I talked about some of those things I melted but now I'm gonna hopefully melt a lot of that in the coming week and um, so most of the stuff is older so I'm not too old but um, all right I'm gonna jump in with the non empty so first of all this is from Dessa's and this is Enchanted and I don't have the scent description on this um, I did get this August last year, so this is the one from the one order I did place with her last year. I, what I can say is I remember it's like an almond, it's almond and something else in there, but it's not like a bakery almond or like an almond extract. It has, I feel like it is almond. It's like a, it's a pretty scent. I'll say it's like creamy and pretty and feminine. And there's a little bit of a fruity scent. I, it is a gorgeous scent and I had it on my list to get more um, from her most recent opening because I do have an order coming from her because I was like but then I was like oh wait I have a bag so I took it off my list but I've just been melting through it pretty quick because it's so fantastic I love it and her Jessa's throw is great her every every single thing I've melted of hers has an excellent throw um, I will say that I think her scents tend to fizzle out around the four to six hour mark for the most part so they don't last really long if you want a wax that lasts all day it's not hers but for me, I prefer a heavy, heavy punch on the throw and then have it fizzle out because I also get tired of scents pretty quickly. So I'd rather have it throw really strong and then fizzle out um, sooner than have it last all day and, or have it be a, a light throw, you know. So then I also melted a chunk off of this Glitterati. So I have a ton of Glitterati I need to get through. And a lot of it is from 2017 when I did my last custom order with her. I do have some chunks that are more recent because I've been on her mystery box list since I've gotten a few mystery boxes since then. But um, I really need to start pulling out more of my 2017 stuff from her. So I got this. It's mango, tangerine, cotton candy frosting. This is just a good, sweet, fruity um, scent. The tangerine's definitely in here, but it's like a, you definitely get like the mango and the tangerine with the cotton candy frosting, but it's very, very sweet, um, very good. So I just think I'm still melting a lot of more bakery um, winter type scents, but every once in a while I'll feel like something that's um, kind of fruity. Then actually last night I put in my warmer, um, this lavender honeydew cotton candy. So I'll usually get about four melts out of each of her big chunks. This is really good too. So I love honeydew. I When I first got into wax, I got into a phase where I was like getting all the honeydew from every vendor with cotton candy. And then I kind of burned myself out on it. But mixed with lavender, I love lavender um, with like fruity scents to melt at night. And her lavender is really good. It's very herbal. And I feel like from this, I got more of the lavender than I did of the honeydew and cotton candy. So that's really good. Then one of my favorite scents from Vintage Chic Scents is Violet. And so this is from February 2016. And so this is one of her um, her large blossom bags, which she doesn't do anymore is my understanding. I wanna show you what I do. So what when I get her bags, I love her bakery bags, but I put, I rebag everything into a polypropylene bag and then put it back in my bakery bag because this seems to hold the scent the most. And so um, this kind of double bagging is like the best I found for all waxes to just really hold the scent. So all of my stuff from her, even though this is from 2016, um, it is fantastic. It's nice and strong. Now this scent in particular, I'm sorry for all the crinkling. This scent in particular is not like a an overpowering strong scent because it is violet. You don't want that to, you know, it has violet in it. So it's violet, marshmallow, and wafers. Um, it's really good. It's just like a soft violet floral with like a little bit of that marshmallow wafer. So it gives it a bakery note. It's a beautiful scent. Um, it lasts a long time. This stuff is strong, but it's like not overpowering where you feel like it's too heavy. So really like that. I do have about 
I probably have about oh, 15 or so um, of her blossom bags and loaves that I've cut up and bagged like this um, that I'm just, that I love. They're all scents I love and I'm just slowly melting them. I'll try to make sure I do more reviews of them too. So I pulled out some really old wax. So this is Sassy Girl Aroma. And I mean, most of you, you may not even recognize the peat bags, but this is from a custom order I did with her back in 2014. So freaking old. This is pumpkin sugar donut type. So first of all, I did not know if these would have any scents because I do think with Sassy Girl Aroma, um, some of her stuff, it, it does, if it, once it starts getting pretty old, like three, four years, it does start losing its fragrance, I feel like. But this one did not. I When I sniff the bag, I can actually still smell it quite a bit. And then I put it on, I put two, uh, they're in little lattice pie shapes. Let me show you. Uh, so it's the little lattice pies. They still smell really strong. I put two in my like living room, dining room, kitchen area. It smelled so good. Um, it's just, it's, I mean, you, this is, the, I think it's the Bath and Body Works type. So it's um, just like a sweet cinnamony bakery with, you know, pumpkin pie set scent, um, pumpkin pie spice scents. Okay, then also from Sassy Girl, this is from, oh, I have, huh. So that's one thing that happens is the stickers get mixed up with stuff. So I don't know what this one's from, Port 8, 920. This came off of something else, but anyhow, so this is from September 2014, Noelle's Fluffy Birthday. I think it's Vanilla B. Noel and like a birthday cake or something. I um, It is a little bit on the lighter side, so I put a, it's another lattice pie. I put one in my bedroom during the day. It just gave a nice, subtle kind of Vanilla B. Noel bakery scent to my room it actually smelled really good so i'm really impressed that those they're not as strong as they were when i originally had them but they were at least a solid medium like i could definitely smell them in the room so very impressed with those and enjoyed them then from candles from the keeping room i melted a couple tarts in this toasted marshmallow indian bread this is from february 2015 so this though but really strong still I, I don't know what like Indian bread, this is basically toasted marshmallow, but with like a, a unique bakery scent. There's a distinct scent to that bakery. It's really good, that bread. It's really good, but it this had a really good throw, um, just a nice warm kind of bakery scent. I put it in my living room, kitchen, dining room area. Then I have this cuttable and strawberry birthday cake fluff. So I think that's strawberry birthday cake and marshmallow fluff. And um, I melted it in my bedroom. This is from 2017. This was really good. Just, I love her strawberry. So basically it's strawberry with cake and marshmallow. Yum, so it had good performance. Like her stuff is pretty good. I'll get a couple scents that, um, I'll get a couple scents that maybe are on the lighter side that if they're really old, but for the most part, her stuff still smells pretty good. So. That's all my non-empties, and then I do have quite a bit of empties. <clears throat> so from Tiffany Candles, I melted a couple tarts of tea and cakes. This is from November 2015. I don't care for the tea and cake scent that much. It's okay, but that's probably why I still have this in my stash, because I just didn't reach for it. Because um, it tends to be kind of like a, like a lemon tea with like a cake note. Um, and I know I put... I think I put this in my bedroom. It wasn't super strong, but I could smell it. So I actually enjoyed it more because the scent has kind of gone away from it a little bit. So it wasn't overpowering. So I enjoyed it, but it's not a scent I, I would actually reorder because I just generally don't care for it that much. Then from Candles from the Keeping Room, I had one little tart left in this vanilla bean boysenberry. This is so good. Again, this would be from 2014 because it's some of the wax I had rebagged way back then. I don't do that anymore because I feel like the scent stays better when I leave them in the double bag she puts them in. But um, this was just a great, like, I, I'm going to say generic and not generic because it didn't smell good, but more just a general berry, like a sweet vanilla berry scent. It was just really, really good. It wasn't distinctly, like, I, I don't know. I don't know if I've ever smelled a boysenberry, so... Um, but you know, it wasn't blueberry or any of those others, but it was really good. So that's definitely a scent I would like keeping out for an order again. 
I had one little tart left um, from Tiffany Candles and Fizzy Pops. This is from December 2014. I wasn't sure if this was going to perform. It actually did really good. It's that um, that just very effervescent Fizzy Pop scent, and I really liked it. I put it in my room. It was just like a nice, refreshing Fizzy Pop scent. From Rose Girls, I had this Mini Melters, and <laughs> I could not remember the name of these last time, and someone posted it below, so thank you for whoever it was. I'm sorry, I don't remember who it was now, but Mini Melters, and Vanilla Crunch Donuts, and this is Buttery Vanilla, Gooey Batter, and Fresh Dough. This is from May 2016. Um, this is a great scent. I melted these. I kind of used it to, like, blend with other scents, and then I melted it on its own. It gives you, it's just like a good vanilla bakery scent i don't remember um i don't sorry i keep like hiccuping i can't really smell much in the bag yeah i was like i don't think there's any like spice to it but it's a good just vanilla like donut bakery type scent so it's definitely one i'd get again i'm not a fan of mil mini melters or anything where you have to do your own blending i rather just I like to do custom and I like to request my own blends, but I want it to come pre-blended. So I just cut off a piece and throw it in a warmer and I don't have to think about it. I had a sample from Candles from the Keeping Room and Jelly Filled Pumpkin Donut. This is from September, 2016. Um, this was really good. Her jelly scent, oh my gosh. So, so, so good. Um, I don't know how, I haven't ordered from Candles from the Keeping Room in a while. Well, I did place a small order with her last, last year. Actually not last year, sorry, 20. Wait, yeah, no, it was 2020. Yeah, because it's 2021. Okay. Sorry, I'm having to get my years right. Um, so I don't know how much she offers of her jelly donut still. I am actually hoping to get an order in with her when she does her next um, restock. I don't need any from her. I have how many bins? I think I have about six bins of her wax still that I'm trying to get through. But um, there's a few scents that I would like to actually get that I don't have. So I'm trying to avoid like doubling up and hoarding like the same scent. Um, but anyhow, this was good. You get like kind of that pumpkin spice donut with that sweet jelly. It was really good. Oh, my leg is falling asleep. Sorry. I need a better setup than this. From the bathing garden, this was one of my samples. This was pink marshmallow cola cake from the order I just placed. And um, this was good. It was kind of, you know, like a, I don't know what the pink is supposed to be. But it's like a marshmallow with cola and cake. And I put it in, I think, where did I put it? I think I put it in my bathroom. And I could smell it, but it was kind of more subtle. It was just a small little bunt. So it did okay. Um, and the scent was enjoyable, but it's not something I would seek out to try to have again. Okay. Then I melted a tart from Beezy's in Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie. So he, Beezy's is actually the first vendor that I ever... Um, really enjoyed blackberry jam butter cookie from and um, I got I think I got a sample from him in one of my orders and then I like fell in love with it and I was like oh I have to have that it's a good scent sorry I'm moving around a lot because my leg is asleep <laughs> I'm gonna have to come up with a better place to sit because I'm just sitting on the floor and it's just not comfortable sorry about that but um so this scent is like it's really good now this I think because it's from May 2016 and even though I had it bagged definitely was lighter than um his scent his stuff usually is when you get it originally but i'm probably not going to really look to order from him again um i don't know what kind of scents he's stocking these days most of his scents are kind of single oil scents they're good but um i just really need to limit the number of vendors i'm ordering from so i'm tr gonna try i probably have a good like 30 or so scent shots from him so i'm gonna just really try to melt through them so I can clear out a bin um, and make room for some of the new wax I'm getting. But this did good. I like that scent, blackberry jam butter cookie. Um, it was like a solid medium. I think I cut it in half and put it in two warmers in my living room. Then, okay, most of what I have left, okay, this is, this is what I have left is sugar and spice because I am, oh no, here's another Beezy's. Another Beezy's in strawberry cheesecake. Can you see that? I love his strawberry cheesecake. The strawberry, I believe, is the same one. Like, that's my favorite that I love from, like, Candles from the Keep You Room, BCS, etc. Um, and, but his strawberry cheesecake blend is heavier on the cheesecake, which is kind of like a, like a little bit of a spicy bakery scent. Yeah, I can smell a little bit in there. So it definitely, you get more of the like the crust of the cheesecake than you do of anything else. It's still really good, but I 
I love it because I ordered a bunch of it at one time, but you don't get as much of the strawberries I'd like. Okay, and then, okay, so the rest of everything, I have one more clamshell and then the rest is sugar and spice. So this is from Kay's and this is Apple Fireside, which is Macintosh Apple, Palo Santo, and Marshmallow Fireside. This is a fantastic blend. Oh my gosh, it smells so amazing. I, this is her two ounce set shot. I cut it in half, put it in two warmers in my living room and I could barely smell it. Like I just, I'm kind of disappointed. And I know if any of you ordered after watching my haul video, I apologize. I hope you have better performance. Um, I just, I got it a little bit, but it was probably like a five out of 10 where I could kind of smell it, but I really had to like smell for it. Um, and that, not all of her scents are that light, but I'm surprised that this was that light. Like to have Mac Apple and Marshmallow Fireside are two strong scents. The blend is fantastic because you get that, it's just that sweet, crisp Mac, Mac Apple, the warmth and like, um, you know, the Palo Santo is kind of like a warm, masculine kind of scent. I don't even know if I'd call it that. It's just like a warm, oh, it's just a good scent. But then Marshmallow Fireside, so fantastic blend. I just did not get great performance out of it. So I have, after melting this one, I've decided I'm gonna let the rest sit for a while and then come back to it and see. So, but you guys let me know. I mean, I don't know, everyone I see just raves about K's. And so I just wish I got better performance because her ordering is so easy. You could do blending anytime you want. But um, I love this blend. So I may actually look for this blend from other vendors just because that blend is fantastic. I want to have more, but I want to be able to smell it. Okay, then I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have eight scent shots from um, Sugar and Spice. So my Sugar and Spice and my BZ scent shots, uh, you know, I bagged, most of them have been rebagged into these four ounce bags. And um, I kept them all in one bin just because there wasn't enough for them to have their own bins. And so um, I'm trying, they're all old. They're all from like 2015, 2016. So some of these aren't even dated. So I'm trying to get through them all so that I can empty out that bin and um, make room for some of the new orders. So I'm just trying to find, okay. So there was two, I have two um, scent shots in this one, pumpkin cornbread muffins. Holy moly, this one was strong. I, um, what I did is I put one whole scent shot in a, um, tea light warmer in my living room and then half of a scent shot in a light bulb warmer in my kitchen. Oh my gosh, this is like, it's sweet cinnamon and other pumpkin spice bakery. I'm not really getting cornbread specifically, but when this was melting, it was just sweet, decadent, sweet, spicy bakery, like fall bakery goodness. And it was so strong, like it was so strong. I had my aunt come over and she tends to be sensitive to sell, smell sometime. And I was worried she was gonna complain that it was too strong. Um, she didn't, but holy moly, I enjoyed that. So it, this is the problem, is when I melt a scent like that, it's that fantastic. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to order that from that vendor again. Like, do I need to seek that out from that vendor? Because it just performed so well. And it's at least from like 2015 or something, I think. So it's not, you know, it's definitely aged. Um, but it just performed so well. Okay. Then I have, I'm just trying to make sure. Yeah. Okay. I think all the rest are unique scents. Okay. So I had half of this lavender marshmallow fireside, um, that I put in my bedroom. It's so good. Her lavender is so good. It's herbal. And when you put, I think this is one of the blends that I did when you, and I'm sure I got it from somebody else, but, um, lavender with marshmallow fireside. It's just a beautiful scent and great for fall. It makes it kind of a relaxing fall scent and it performed really well. It was strong. Then I have this Mac Apple Pumpkin Pie Cinnamon Vanilla Frosting. Um, this one I put, I think, in my laundry room because I'm trying to like, yeah, put cinnamon scents in my laundry. It's like a cinnamon apple bakery is what it smelled like. It was really good, not as strong as some of the others, but it was like a good solid medium. And so I enjoyed it in there. It was really good. Then this I melted. I had half a scent shot left in peppermint, marshmallow, fireside, marshmallow, birthday cake, Noel. Um, 
holy moly so 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 good i melted the half in my office this is really good this is actually another blend that i'm thinking i'm going to try and put in my um my l3 customs if i do decide to go ahead and do a custom so that performed and it performed really well for considering how old it was i had a scent shot in thanksgiving i don't remember the scent blend for this but it's supposed to be kind of like like the foods foods from thanksgiving including some like the desserts i don't know so it kind of has a little bit of a savory and sweet scent to it it's good um it it it's but it's I don't remember how well it performed. I think I put this in my laundry room because it does have a spice note to it. Um, but when it's fresher and not as old as like my wax is, because that's from October 2015, it performed really well. That's one of her popular scents. I don't even know if she's still making wax anymore. I have to double check. Then I had this apple butter and caramel. I think I put this one in my laundry room as well. Um, and I think it was just kind of really like a sweet caramel apple. Yeah, just a sweet caramel apple. It's good, but I'm not a huge fan of caramel apple unless it's with bakery scents. This one was not with bakery, so I'd prefer that if it was like melted with or blended with bakery. And then the last one is Autumn Leaves. Um, I don't think this is a Bath and Body Works leaves dupe. Can you see that? Is it? Yeah, there we go. Um, this, let me smell it again. No, it's not a Bath and Body Works leaves dupe. It's more like, it's almost kind of like a fresh, clean, outdoorsy type scent. It was good, but it's not a like leaves dupe. So it's okay. Maybe more like autumn day. I think it might be like autumn day from Bath and Body Works. And then there was one other um, bag left, not from Sugar and Spice. So this is a sample I got from Rose Girls. This is Rosemary, Mint, Lavender, and Sandalwood from September 2018 when I went to her store and bought some stuff and she gave me a bunch of samples. This is really good. Rosemary, mint, lavender, and sandalwood. Good blend. Very good. I love the mint and the lavender and that sandalwood just makes it warm. Mm. It was a really good blend. So I would definitely look to repurchase that as well or to purchase that because I didn't buy it. It was a sample. So anyhow, those are my melts for this past week. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, um, feel free to post those below. Sorry for like moving around a lot. I hope you guys didn't hear that too much. Um, I just need to come up with a more comfortable place to sit when I'm doing these videos. So anyhow, thanks for watching guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.